In this video, we're taking a look at the newly buffed Lockman sub here in Modern Warfare 3. I personally love when they go ahead and buff the Modern Warfare 2 weapons because it gives us a chance to shake up the meta. I was able to drop a quick MGB nuke. I know for a fact you guys can go crazy with this build. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications, and as always, shout out the location squad. If you guys want to shout out, make sure you guys comment no the game down in the comment section. And also, let me know what is your favorite Modern Warfare 2 weapon to use in Modern Warfare 3. Let's take a look at the new absolute best and fastest killing Lockman subclass here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 Reloaded. They buffed this SMG, drastically improving its damage range, and it is very, very noticeable. Now, for the first attack, we are going to be running a muzzle, and I highly recommend running just the Shadow Strike Suppressor S on this submachine gun to bump up our ability to flank the enemy. We're going to be removing ourselves from the radar. That's all we need. We don't need any additional recoil control. This gun is very easy to use at those close, medium, and longer ranges. So it's going to be a great attach to have at our disposal. Now, what we are going to be doing with this setup is we're going to be skipping over the barrels. Normally, I'd recommend running a barrel on the Lockman sub, but after the buff, the FTAC M sub 12 inch barrel is no longer necessary. Instead, we're going to jump right over to the under barrel, and we are going to be rocking the XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. If you don't have this unlocked, get it unlocked because we're going to be drastically improving our close and medium range performance. With that increased aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed, as well as sprint to fire speed. This is a great attachment on the Lockman sub if you're looking to run and gun and dominate at its respective range, which I know for a fact a lot of you guys are trying to do because there's no reason to run a submachine gun and sit in the back. We are going to be running and gunning and going crazy. Now, for the next attachment, we actually are going to be running ammunition on this SMG. Ammo is always a good option on the Modern Warfare 2 weapons to go ahead and kind of bump them up and keep them in line with a lot of the Modern Warfare 3 counterparts. And the 9mm high grain rounds are phenomenal, going ahead and bumping up bullet velocity as well as damage range. You're going to have this attachment on the Lockman sub, allowing us to destroy people at longer ranges. Now, after the buff, this is very good and definitely an attachment you do not want to sleep on. It is noticeable how much more fit this weapon is at those longer ranges now we are going to be running a magazine because 30 is not enough and the 40 round mag is going to be a nice bump allowing us to take out more people at the same time if you are actually running and gunning the 40 round mag is going to be a phenomenal choice on this submachine gun and then finally we are going to be running a rear grip here and i highly recommend running the lockman tcg 10 to go ahead and smooth out that recoil pattern with that increased gun kick control as well as recoil control the cons are going to be completely irrelevant because it's going to be a run and gun setup so this is overall going to be a nice choice if you're trying to take people out at any and all ranges definitely a rock solid sub machine gun once you jump in the firing range you're going to see here this class setup has a very very fast ads we're gonna have great aim walking speed and obviously like all my builds we are gonna have control over recoil so definitely go ahead and check this out if you're looking for a lockman sub setup you can use it any and all ranges and obviously get on their spawn and build up a quick and easy streak for the secondary i am running the core 45 with its conversion kit which did receive a buff pretty much transform this into a submachine gun we have on the 40 round drum we are rocking the so skeletal vertical grip on the setup we have on the colossus suppressor xs version and we are going to be utilizing the xrk dynamic in stock courtesy of the conversion kit to bump up that gun kick as well as recoil control now we are going to run munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier and mag holster now we are not running ghost on the setup the reason we have mag holster because the lockman subs reload is painfully slow this is going to allow us to stay locked and loaded and continuously pushing the spawn now we do have on the commas vest which is going to be very important for a running gun build because every time you kill somebody and run over their body they're dropping a radar beacon let you know where everybody is in your general vicinity definitely do not sleep on this submachine gun it recently got buffed so there's no reason to not go ahead and check out the mp5 and see if you enjoy it and can potentially replace the wsp swarm the wsp9 or the rival 9 and as your meta smg of choice if you guys enjoy feel free drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel and those post notifications go ahead and get into the gameplays 
right, let's get busy with the Lockman sub. They went ahead and buffed this submachine gun within the reloaded update, and it's actually pretty good. Now, this is something that's been rising in the Warzone meta. A lot of people have been enjoying the sub, and honestly, it is fun to use in multiplayer. I think about this setup is it is fast mobility is there you guys can also see that I got mag hoster on because the lockman sub oh I'll take that Oh, he's out. The enemy captured the headquarters. As I was saying, the Lockman sub does typically have a little bit of a slower reload. This guy's running the oh, this is a, what is this? The Cronin Squall? Dude, I haven't seen that since whenever that game came that gun came out. Oh my god, this class is so slow, dude. No. Two, they gotta be AFK. But where though? HQ is down. Stand by for next location. Not uh mm. New HQ located. Move to the objective. I did see that guy over there. I kind of stole his kill. I'm sorry. Rotate this way. Oh, teammate, you're not paying attention. Good shit. God. Hell is on me right now. The hell, what was that? What was that? I'm calling the EMP in. Come on, 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 come on. Contact. I can't challenge that. I was getting hit markers, but
reinforcements. I'm out of there. New HQ located. Move to the objective. Copy. Longbow 31 is on station. Ready for task. Four. Headquarters online. Secure the objective. Enemy near the HQ. Secure the perimeter. The enemy is capturing the objective. Enemy inside the perimeter. Clear them out. Enemies on the objective. Oh my god. Yeah, these spawns are insane. These spawn the spawns were literally insane. Shut it down, shut it down. They should spawn out over here. What did he drop? Take that MCW. Come on, there's no way they're capping it right now. Come on. I can't challenge because I'm weak. Go, baby. Friendly cluster mine planted. New HQ located. Move to the objective. Dance. Copy it off to AP and entry to the Switching ball style. Hostiles launched a cruise missile. Gotta call the VTOL on the new hill. Headquarters online. The enemy's capturing the objective. How is he not dead? That makes literally no sense.
Okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get the nuke in. We're at 96. Might be able to get 100. That was close as hell. Do another nuke. I should be able to get 100 kills. I need one kill with the nuke. Please provide it. I don't think I got a... Thank God. 101. I was about to say, if I didn't get that nuke, I would have been furious. Nobody over there. Got some fellas up over here. Somebody's running the, I believe, the Ram 9. Uh-oh. Bro, he... Okay, he's gone. He's got that Sidewinder trying to get the new gun unlocked. Bro, honestly, the Sidewinder is just so unbelievably bad. Good shit, we gotta shut... Oh my god. We're capturing the HQ. Set security. Like I can literally run out of like the enemy captured the headquarters. Effective fire. We've lost the beach. Enemy Close inside the, the perimeter. Enemy Clear here. them out. Oh I can literally like run out of the I guess range of fire or what, like i can outmaneuver the bullet velocity of that trash gun it's that bad like the sidewinder is mud literally i want to say they're still spawning over here Uh, maybe not. Yeah, they spawned out. Good shit with that. Oh man, we're moving and grooving right now. Rotate this way. Oh God. Enemy inside the perimeter. Clear them out. Our headquarters has been captured. He's all ready to deploy. You're halfway to mission complete. Finish it. Can I, can I please call? And damn, bro. Dude, this guy is, this guy is coming. Dude, he, he, he's head hunting right now. Literally, he, he is head hunting right now.
man. We call this in. We get a UAV. Enemy inside the perimeter. Clear them out. The enemy is capturing our headquarters. Let me guess. He has cold blooded out. Dude, how is he running around with a VTOL up? This Lachman sub setup is filth though. GG Look at that range, a triple kill at that range What? What? This class is disgusting.